Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 9 and 9 Gaming doing a video for The Walking Dead Road to Survival and this is Supply Depot Exchange March 24th, 2016. For those of you that are new, this is where we take a look at my Supply Depot. I know it changes from server to server, player to player, and we decide if these are good buys, bad buys, or good buy. So on this topic of good buy, I've gotten several messages from you guys and a lot of support, a lot of comments with the character slots drama that's going on right now. So some people have messaged me asking me if I'm quitting the game. The answer to that right now is no, but I will tell you that I'm going to continue to do what's right. I'm going to fight for what's right. In fact, I'll be using the same Supply Depot in another uh, video very shortly, and it's going to be a forced liquidation because Scopely has forced me to liquidate a lot of characters I wanted to keep because of the, uh, the um, character slot drama. So I'm not giving up on that, and as stated before, uh, refunds are coming in fast and furious. So, you know, if Scopely wants to go that route, then obviously we have... Uh, repercussions and you know there's things that we can do as well too doesn't mean that uh, I'm gonna stop playing the game I've obviously got an investment in it but I will tell you I'm gonna cut back on the uh, on the financial investment quite a bit so you may see me somewhere between a pay to play and a free to play I'll probably be a casual to play I'll be a C a C2P something like that so let's talk about Supply Depot um, you can see first item here in stock is going to be bloody jackets bloody jackets three in stock um, if you need it, 90 supply points probably isn't the worst I've ever seen, but you should be farming the stuff. If you're playing you know, any more than an hour a day, you should have plenty of stuff you're sitting on. Gear pack. We've seen this gear pack over and over again. And this gear pack is marked down. So 350 for a gear pack, two safety helms, running shoes, and three bloody jackets. So I would say it's worth it. I mean, you know, the bloody jackets alone, if you buy them over on the other side, it's 270 So you'd basically get the other stuff pretty cheap. Um, so not a terrible price. Uh, basic trainers. So basic trainers are available, and it's funny because you hear all the free-to-play players out there talking, um, and you can buy these things pretty easily, right? With uh, some characters that you sold, and probably the pay-to-play players have a little bit more supply points. But this is the type of thing that could give you a little bit of edge in the uh, level-up tournament that everybody seems to be talking about right now. Uh, 120, yeah, buy at your own risk. Leader trainer. So a leader trainer would be good if you have a Rick, if you have an Oberson. If you have a Lee, you know, any of those leaders up there, uh, the Adrenaline Rush was nerfed all to hell, so you pretty much have to buy leader trainers if you want a fast route. But I, as I said many, many times before, I'm not spending 2600 on leader trainer. You know, Scopely, you can uh, pull a Eugene and uh, bite a Dwight. So uh, let's go forward. Uh, world Energy Refills. Um, nah, I ain't buying World Energy Refills. Three Star Andrea. Only 650 but no, I'm not buying a three star for 650 Sorry. Four star Shane for 9,200. If you don't have a good four star and you're sitting on 10, 12, 13,000 supply points, I'd say 9,200 is probably a decent investment. And last but not least, this is a card that I guess Scopely knows I want it. So instead of being marked down to 50,000 like it normally is, yep, it's up to 55,000. One thing I do hate about Supply Depot is it's individualized. So, um, you know, I've seen some people that have five-star characters marked down to 38,000. I don't get them under 50,000, and most of the time they're 55,000. So the question I pose to you guys, you guys see my supply points up there, 58,000. Should I buy the five-star Andrea? So leave that in the comments. I'm interested to see if you guys should think I should make the move, and that would be my second Andrea. Got to spend it on something. I mean, what else am I going to spend supply points on? Bloody jackets? I can only get three of those. So my name is Killshot. Give this video a thumbs up. I will have a, it's not going to be called a Supply Depot death, but I'm going to show you, uh, you know, I've got 50 characters i got to get rid of if I'm going to play the game at all. So a lot of those characters that I bought, I keep looking at the character slots like it's some kind of lost puppy, like it's going to come back and fix itself, but it's not. So at some point, um, why we are actively seeking refunds, we're going to have to move on. But I will do a video showing all the stuff that, unfortunately, that I have to get rid of that I really don't want to get rid of. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. This is Supply Depot Exchange, March 24, 2016. My name is Killshot. Peace.